Hey people, first off, uh, major rebrand. A friend of mine told me that I should change my name channel to Ricky Rants and I've thought about it and I like the idea. So from today henceforth, welcome to Ricky Rants. A couple of days ago, a friend of mine hits me up and asks me about the subject that I'm going to talk about today. I really wasn't going to cover it, but she kind of put stuff in perspective and I decided I might as well do something about it. So, let's get into this. Utawakata. For most men, we are scared, as in that nowadays you go on a date and if she's from Nyeri, you want to basically pick up and run. Because um, Nyeri women have really upped the ante when it comes to domestic violence. I don't really understand uh, the amount of anger that you need to compile to get to that level. So I came up with two possibilities. Uh, option one, either Nyeri women are the most patient people in the world. As in, imagine how much time it would take you to build up that much resentment for another individual that you felt or that your only cause of action was to cut off his manhood. I mean, he really must have pushed you to the brink for you to sit down and decide that, you know what? The best way I can get back at this fucker is to cut off his dick. Option number two, and this is what most people will agree with, uh, nearly women are dangerous. Because if that is your go-to excuse or your go-to reaction to any anger or can I say disturbance that, you know what? Poof, we're gonna cut off his dick. You are some scary motherfuckers. Um, forgive me, but I'm not gonna mess with you. Cause I fuck up a lot. I'm weird like that. And at times out of spite, at times just for fun. But if me messing with you is gonna cost me my dick, fuck that shit. I'm not gonna be a part of it. If you will realize, I've not mentioned people by tribe in this video because I don't believe tribe is what plays a part in what I'm discussing right now. I say Nyeri women and anybody or any tribe or any ethnicity can reside and live in Nyeri. So I try not to be tribalistic and I have taken that feature or I have taken that aspect and applied it to my video because I'm just not that kind of person. So the bottom line of this video is um, there is no bottom line. 